Kamala Harris says that a tariff is a tax on American consumers. She's wrong. It's a tax on a foreign producer. It's a tax on a foreign country. And I proved that better than anybody because I took in hundreds of billions of dollars worth of tariffs on different states, different on different countries. And out of all of that money, we had no inflation. We had no inflation. We don't need lectures on the economy from a candidate pushing communist price controls. Kamala has no idea what the hell she's doing. Her, as I've said many, many times before, as tariffs on foreign countries go up, taxes on American workers and families come down. According to one recent study, a small 10 percent tariff on Foreign made products will allow massive tax cuts for working families, create more than 3 million American jobs, raise household incomes by 6%. Think of that. And the 6% equates to $4,200 a year for a household and generate almost a trillion dollars in economic growth and it will go very quickly. It will also get rid of a large portion of our deficit because we don't want countries coming in here, stealing our jobs, hurting our country, killing our workers, leaving with everything. And we, as usual, end up with empty, empty factory buildings that are falling down. We end up with nothing. We want tariffs. If somebody wants to come in and take our jobs, if somebody wants to come in and sell us their product that's made in their country, that's okay. But they've got to pay tariffs. They've got to pay a price for that. We're going to bring down your taxes at levels never seen before. We're going to pay off debt of our country because this country owes $35 trillion. But that rapidly can come down. And remember this. We're sitting on the largest amount of oil and gas. We have, I call it liquid gold. We have more liquid gold than Saudi Arabia. We have more liquid gold than Russia. But we don't use it. We go out and we buy from other countries at ridiculous prices. We buy now from Venezuela. We buy tar. It's not really, it's tar. And you know where we refine it? At a factory, only one factory in the world can do it because of the nature of it. It's tar. It's not good stuff. It's in Houston, Texas. So all of that, if you're an environmentalist, all of that's going right into the air in our country. We bring in lots of tar, loads of it. We dump it in Houston and they refine it. We have pure stuff. We have the best and we have the most right under our feet. It's liquid gold and we're going to use it and we're going to reduce our deficit. We're going to re reduce our debt. And we're going to reduce your taxes. We're going to do everything right. And it's going to happen quickly, too. And as we reduce burdens on U.S. manufacturers, our workers can make goods better and cheaper right here in our own country and right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And when I was president, we imposed historic tariffs and prices. And we did it all. We did it all. Prices didn't go up. Everybody said, oh, if you do that, prices. No, the country made less money. That's what happened. Gave us tremendous political leverage over those countries, too, for things having nothing to do with economics. They hurt China, not America. That's why the Biden administration had no choice but to leave them in place. They've left them in place. They wanted to take them off. But so much money comes in from China and other places with the tariffs that I put on that Joe Biden, as much as he wanted to do his friends a favor, couldn't do it. too much money. You couldn't justify it. There was no way to justify it. In my next term, I will revoke China's most favorite nation trade status. It's very unfair. And by the way, I have great respect for President Xi. I think China and the United States will get along well together. I did a, until COVID came in. That was a step too far. But I had a great relationship with President Xi. I had a great relationship with most of the leaders. I'll pass the Trump Reciprocal Trade Act so that if China or any other country, it's not just China, the European Union treats us very badly. Nobody knows that very badly. We have a $250 billion deficit now with the European Union. But if China or the European Union, if any other group of countries or country makes us pay a 100 or 200 percent tariff or tax, 
we will make them pay a reciprocal tariff or tax of the exact same amount. So it's basically you hurt us, we hurt you. It's an eye for an eye, and it's common sense.